G'day folks. Well, today we have a power steering pump for disassembly. I've been meaning to do one of these for a while for a friend of mine, Nobox7, who's requested a couple of times that I do one of these pumps and I've just forgotten about it. So this one's for you mate. This is a Ford uh, it's fitted to most Australian Fords like the Falcons, AU, EA, I oh, don't know about the really early Falcons but most of them. It's a Aussie thing, I don't know if they're fitted to American cars, although they probably would be. A GM standard or something. And I'm going to take it apart just to see how it works. I've never had one of these apart myself, so I don't know how this one works. It's probably a gear or vane type hydraulic pump. Not a lot, not a lot of difference between this and any other hydraulic pump really. They all do the same thing, they're a pressure pump. This one here has the reservoir built in. If I can get the cap off. So, not much difference, it's just a uh, all-in-one hydraulic pump. Unfortunately I don't have a steering rack assembly to go with it, but one will come eventually. see what's in this thing. We loosened everything up. The studs. So the discharge side has been plugged up. This came from a Ford dealership. It's a warranty replacement. Ooh. I think it's a high pressure discharge side. A little check valve in it. piston type valve thingy magnet floating around inside for picking up metallic filings. Nothing really inside the housing, that's just your tank. Obviously that's your suction return line there. I'm going to get this big Welsh plug out somehow. That hole there is a high pressure discharge and suction must be in there. Got the little ball bearing check valves. No, it's another Welch plug there. Suction side. Oh, it's through here. A little passageway through it. That's the suction side in there, through that passageway. There's oil everywhere now. I'm going to try and get that big welch plug out. Looks like it's just retained by a spring clip. I shouldn't have to machine it out. OK, well I ended up cutting this clip in half with the 4 inch grinder. Pretty hard stuff. There's no relief groove in it to actually pry it out. I think. It's under a bit of spring tension. That's really going to fly out when I take the clip out. Oh, not quite. Big welch plug. A gear type, or no, a vein type pump. the vane rotor in there. Just like the vane uh, air conditioning compressor I've dismantled before. Where did that come from in there? Yep. Vane type pump. 
looks all right. Try and drive the shaft through. Veins falling out. Oh, well, that's the rotor shaft out. <laughs> it took a bit of beating to get it out, but it came out. It's just because of the rust on it. Been sitting out in the graveyard a bit too long. Hardened steel veins everywhere. So it's just a common vein type pump, this one. The Ford pump. The housing itself isn't really anything special. There's that welch plug in there. It's like inlet side there. High pressure discharge, discharge here, and that just determines where the high pressure comes out. Hmm. Now there you have it. That's a Ford vane type uh, power steering pump.